lot of. In fact, you played it against them, Fang. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see your perspective on their game. But it looks like they're calling an, a bit of an A pistol. Two to receive. Maxter's got the jewelies. Maxter going to chew this up. Blue yeah. Phoenix going to pull him in. Maxter's going to capitalize. It's going to be beautiful. This is good. Blue Phoenix just needs to do a good enough bait. Ooh, that's a ah. huge. Okay, maybe not chew him up. Maybe that was a little bit too much, and uh, you know, maybe it's actually not going to be as, as great as I might have initially expected. Yeah, that's, that's, what's, that's what's tough, just because if people kind of hard peek you and the angle is not in your crosshair, it's super hard to kind of multi-frag off that point. But you it always feels first. when you're up there, you feel so strong and yeah. powerful. Yeah. Like a freaking god up there. Yeah, and then they cheat, they clear you, and it very quickly <laughs> changes. But this is horrible for the CTs. I don't see a world where Casper Sky with 9 HP and... No kit. That ball yeah. can be pushed. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Oh. This is just a formality. They do get it across the line and all in a finish. Vex like getting three. So the setup wasn't flawed. It was just a question of maybe Blue Phoenix needed to take first contact. Yeah, so he had to sell it a lot more. Yeah. He had to yeah. sell it a lot more. Because even on that angle, like someone peeks you, kind of, you know, having that opportunity to just hard peek like, you. Look at that. There was it makes two enough of them. space. Three yeah. of them look at it. It makes enough though. space for the rest of them to just get that trade, max or worst case. Mm hmm. Worked out nicely. Vexai with the triple kill. Alistair starting with that energy we yeah. know him for. Yeah, they're coming with energy for yeah, sure. Yeah, he seems he... actually in a very fierce mood this morning. That, yeah. that was a very <laughs> stern face after the yell. Yeah, it's his war face. Maybe it's yeah. the mustache, though. The mustache makes everything automatically seem a little bit more stern. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Maybe I'll whip out the tash. So exciting for another eight. Yeah. Day. It's been a while since I've it's been a minute saw my cheeks. You sported a mustache. <laughs> Maybe I'll go bring them the tash back. You're rocking a tash. It'd be yeah. Great. I've had it for, yeah, had it for a while. Yeah, and how is life in the mustached realm? Is it is it is it enjoyable? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you feel me, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's like comfort. Like a distinguished that's, gentleman. Yeah, that's yeah. like my comfort. That they actually, that. I've seen this Molly a little bit from from a few teams. I think G two was one of the first teams that actually did it, but it's very hard to actually throw. So, yeah, which we just sort of exemplified there. It yeah. was uh, not quite on the money, but all the same, the Mac tens will farm up nicely. Dexter's going to get himself twelve hundred bucks. And isn't this a dream as well for a Counter-Strike team? I want to hear both your team, your thoughts on this. But when you've started uh, you, on the T side and you get to kind of condition on the less popular bomb site early, like you've mm. got your pistol, you've got your anti-eco there, you know, maybe you throw in your first gun. And at that point, you've already kind of got the CTs where you want them yeah. in the sense that they're going to be a bit more concerned and apprehensive of a site that sometimes you don't even play anyone there. Yeah. And I think also just for individuals just to get going like you feel like you have a lot more control in the round worst case like you lose the next round it's like okay cool now they have to guess a lot more as their next play right um and, and just can, yeah finding ways to i was gonna say fake off of it but look this is this is a, a cool reaction out of nip if you don't go quick fly quest they'll have got the answers here yeah. by virtue of blue phoenix yeah and this guy make sure their timing's good they actually did this try doing this against us a, a decent amount just inserting someone toward main so you take mid um that's where that main guy's gonna you know take his take his play and he's gonna right. push for info try and get that fast Ooh, break. Ooh, flashback. This is good. That flash has... is... Oh, oh, it's perfect. Huge. That's it's huge. It's perfect. I'm actually curious if that's like a certain point anti-strat or they right. just have an idea, especially adding that flash because that's a big layer rather than just dry clearing it. I actually think I've cast so much fly quest ancient I can tell you they've died to that position like three, four times. <laughs> like, like, all right, we've had enough. Let's yeah. just throw the flash Let's back. flash it. Let's flash it. <laughs> all right, well, and I be going for a little bit of a gamble. This is cool. I mean, this is where we get to see what level FlyQuest are at right now. Do they send in Dexter to kind of get info, or do they blind commit? Yeah, <laughs> like the great emu, can they spread their wings and fly yes. west? <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely on a quest to fly emus. I don't think they're particularly good at it. They're reading it, though. Yeah. I mean, from what I remember, too, uh, NIP is definitely a team, late, especially late round two, they like leaning B a lot for their CT side, so I'm not sure if that's something they um, you know, had some insight about, but... Yeah, either way, it's it's probably a wise decision for both teams, right? Yeah. Have another bite of the cherry, you only lose one rifle. Well, all right. This is a good time to, to let all, all the viewers know, as we've been doing all week. Uh, oh, if you guys want to get involved in the show, there's some easy ways to do it. One of them is the mailbag. We've had some interesting contributions over the past two weeks. We're still looking for more interesting contributions. So that's eplmailbag at efg.gg. Send in... How you're watching on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Please do. <laughs> Any questions you have for, hang on, Justin Co Coakley? Yep. Justin got Coakley, it. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, do send any questions you have for Fang. We got uh, a Maxter Ooh, triple. triple. Yeah. They went hunting and instead they've kind of given him AKs. Or an AK. Just one AK. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to pluralize there. That was my mistake. 
But all the same, they save an AWP, rifles, everyone's happy. Flyquest still, though, converting, and oh, there they are, that's the Australian vision. That's a, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what Down the Aussies see on the stream. Early timeout taken from Nip. They've been they've been schooled a couple times in these first three rounds. That one had to feel horrible. The flash to pick off the A main push. Yeah. And then obviously just reading the stack at the B bomb site heading elsewhere. Like yeah. what's what's Blue Phoenix supposed to do? He's just that's well, tough. I'm, I'm that's, dead. It's tough. Cause if you're anticipating it, it's like you can kinda play more of an off angle to where you can see the flash, insta dodge it. But at that point if someone, for example, is walking in, you're kinda more at a disadvantage. So it's a sense. it's a gamble in that regard. I like this camera view. It's though. making me feel woozy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it's so It's making good. me out of all sorts. Yeah. Oh, all right. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. Cast the round, Alex. Go. Yeah. Have you have you played those mirror maps? Oh, those yeah, are fun. Yeah, no. They are, blow my mind. Those are a bro. mind break. Even watching yeah. that content with like the the dust two that's on its side. Yep. That's, that's oh, like where much. they're flipped. They flip it. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I've never actually. I've seen them. I've never. I can't believe them. they make people play show matches on that, I think I would be unable to move. It's a very humbling <laughs> experience when you realize so much of your aim is just like the familiarity Polar of line. angles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. What's the go here? Starting with Maxter with some aggressive mid control. They want to fight for this cave fight? Casper Sky's forward. All right. Oh, oh flashbang. Good. good win. And there That's goes huge, Vex. Huge double. How does this feel when you're a T player and you've lost two people trying to control B lane? You're just like, oh. Round's kind of done. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, honestly, you can you can definitely get back into the round, but a lot of it comes down to recognizing like the a space you have. Five on three. Yeah, and I mean, that helps. You want to get generous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it right back. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, when you're in these situations as T's, it's very good just like realizing, especially counting Utah, like understanding like toward B if they have needs to block you. If you can take those kind of timings and off of it reacting very fast into whatever play you want to make, because if you get an initial kill somewhere, opens up a lot of space on the on the map. Um, or toward whatever bomb site. What's Alistair lining up there? That's a new one for me. I haven't seen this uh, particular lineup. Oh, Ooh, screen just saving that one. Just saving the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> My boy, Rush. Thank you. Is that for inside cave, like a deep cave side? Yeah. Part? Okay. So that just doesn't. It's better so it doesn't blue my eyes. Yeah. Like so you yeah, can't yeah, push short through it. That's nice. Yeah. Ah. ah. Rush. Yeah, add that one into the repertoire. Send me that PMD, Rush. <laughs> that screenshot. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Cheers, bro. Oh, he's got okay, one through we'll it anyways, what? though. Oh, yeah, that's so spot. heartbreaking. Ooh, did they break it? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's team play. And now we've got ourselves a 2v4 ins and Alistair make it just ins. Four of them are already on the bomb site. There should be nothing for him to do here. And he can't even get one. We do have a NIP round and it's a convincing one. I still am in like recovery realizing that they took down Heroic. I feel like that was just a that, that was a team that should have been a stretch too far for this constellation of yeah. players. Yeah, I, I actually didn't have a chance to really like watch right, that game. All right. But I don't know. I mean, Horok has just kind of looked a little flat, especially they have. some of their more recent series. So, I don't, I don't know. Like, NIP, you know, they have a better start or they get some momentum. It's like, at that point, they're kind of just playing. They're playing more in the moment, especially knowing they have a stand-in. So, it's like, that's just kind of... It's such a unique international team as yeah. well. Like, the mixture of nationality. You haven't seen many Spaniards in-game leading for a pole, a Ukrainian, yeah. an Israeli, and a Swede. Yeah. Big mix. Like the only two players that are on that on that roster have played together at all. It was Maxter and Blue Phoenix on their academy. On That's their right. Academy squad. Oh, oh, Inz is Inz is out. I can't quite believe oh. he's not dead. And Somebody he stays alive. Kill him. That's crazy. He's very out. He's tanking. He's tanking right he's now. He's dead. Okay, he's dead, but. Yeah, but that's caused so much chaos. Look yep. at look at Dexter. Here's some yep. of that European experience mm -hmm. coming back in, baby. He's I like, got a gap, baby. Like, I take this space. <laughs> I push all the way forward. Oh, and it gets so uncomfortable for Alex because there's just so many unknowns. Yeah. And that deep smoke, he's got to step in front of it. Does One he? side, this actually could. This is huge. For him. Oh, if he gets this, the round is in trouble. Oh, can oh, it? Oh, it was there. Yeah, just unfortunate on his moves there. Just a little bit apprehensive as to the commitment. Instead, now <laughs> you're not clearing this one. I'd clear it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, he's he's clearing. Like oh, he's clearing. Oh, he's clearing. clearing it. He's clearing. Ah, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Dexter's no. going to nail the shot. So he got four. That's a solid T half starting to take shape now for FlyQuest. Yeah, they definitely have 
the opportunity to just run out, run out with this half now. Oh, and he misses. Oh. That's crazy. He freaking misses his. <laughs> his uh, he like didn't two. put it deep enough. Yeah, yeah. I think it might have been a second volley. That honestly well. might have benefited him too. Because yeah. the CTs probably didn't even react to that because of that. So, from your uh, T side ancient meta understanding, is, yeah. it, is it two to three smokes off spawn pretty much as a standard, or what would you yeah, say? Yeah, I'd say so. Like, you want to disrupt Red. mid and then yeah. some kind of a B oriented, B oriented towards yeah. uh, smoke. Like this lane extinguish. Yeah, or the top B smoke as well if you want to like actually. Heaven, yeah. yeah, if you want to like deep pressure toward the bomb site. Those are probably the mean two. And if you don't throw one toward B, then it's like you're usually smoking one of the mollies. And if you want to pressure mid, you have to smoke the molly. Yeah. yeah. So that's three gone. Yeah. As the round starts, seems the the matter is going that way. Yeah. Hang on. Big That's shot a wrinkle. Yeah, but, uh, but oh. a very ballsy re re aggress. Gets away with it. That leaves oh. a lot of pressure for them toward mid now. Like if I'm if I'm a tease now, it's like you want to kind of whether it's adding a fake or give them some kind of room to take their take their. Oh, nice contact. wrinkle. Yeah. Big rotate though from wrinkle. Huge rotate. That could have even been a third kill. Yeah. Maybe a little frustrated with still sliding in the crouch. Liaz gonna put some pressure towards CT spawn in the back of B, but actually FlyQuest is heading the other direction. They're heading to that A bomb site. But what's it? I, this I, gets a little weird now. Well, they then, can't clear A main because Vexite's alone at the bomb, right? Yeah. So he can't go there alone. Yeah. So they're just gonna have to understand that A main is an option for the defenders. Yeah. And since they pressure toward house, they threw that deep soak, they don't have full info on that line where their guys still lurk there. So they're panicked about that. And the A guy's now taking space. So that alleviates some pressure, but it gives them a gap. Like how you see that walk out toward Donut. They just need to be aware of this spawn guy here. Gives oh. them away back in the round. Very, very aware. He's probably because that that's always he gets called into like a weird position, right? Because Maxter's such a such a hard position to clear out at A main, but yeah. when Maxter pushes, then he has gotta slide back. And yeah. he's probably like, I don't wanna slide back. This fight sucks. Yeah. And it did. It really did. Now it's really oh, oh, uncomfortable man. for the ninjas. This this is Come back into through it. their fingers. Yeah. Alex Wayne HP just gonna continue. Flyquest shooting sharp today though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotta say that. They're hitting hard. The Aussies have always been able to shoot. It's always been a question of the uh, the kind of the, the macro decision making that yeah. was always lagging behind. It feels like that, that has certainly caught up with, with Dexter's return to Oceania Counter Strike. But yeah, you're right. If th if this is that if that hits, it's a different round. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a completely oh, yeah. different round. Oh, I hate that fight so much as a CC. What peeking into donut from yeah. TP? Yeah. Yeah. Or just the retake. I'm gone. People are so good at holding angles now. Like you yeah. just go. Oh. Like going those kinds of retakes when they have donut, especially when you know they can be in donut. It's so hard because you don't know if they're going to peak deep. You don't know if they're going to peak yeah, close. You don't know up. if they're hiding. Or in the bomb site it's, itself. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. It's, yeah. Well, five to one. Looking, uh, looking absolutely lovely for FlyQuest of this first map. Tickety boo, as we say. Excuse me? Tickety boo. What is what is that? <laughs> it's go it's going swimmingly. Okay. Going very well. Swimming. Tickety boo. <laughs> yeah. Tickety boo. Oh, we've got an email here. From the mailbag? Yeah. Okay. okay. For Not a personal email. For fang. I should read I should pre read these. Should <laughs> yeah, you should <laughs> maybe screen definitely, this one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if Francis is asking you, he says, how has your journey into looks maxing been recently? You're mogging the competition, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like a compliment, a compliment to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of words no, that I, I didn't understand. I mean, I appreciate that. I mean, I was, ex I was experimenting a little bit. I mean, I cut my hair like... I don't even know. Well, we got like, like a, a low taper ago. fade. Yeah, but honestly, I took it all off like a while ago. Oh, and now I was growing back because yeah, yeah, before yeah. my hair was really long. But yeah, just doing doing some experimenting. I mean, I'm lucky with it now, but I'm just kind of letting, letting it grow back. See, see, you know, what I'm cooking up. Answer this honestly, if you if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> have Have you ever mewed? Huh? Do you mew? Have you? Are you even aware of what mewing is? No. That's okay. Jason knows. He'll tell you. Yeah, I, 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 know I don't sure. think so. It's something to do with like a jaw exercise of some kind, isn't it? Yeah, jaw exercise. Yeah, like jaw exercise. Okay, no. No? no I'm not too familiar. Sorry, yeah. Francis will tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll send another email. Francis seems like the kind of guy who knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, no stranger to mewing. Knocking to mew on the competition here with an AWP save. He's done so. The 1 HP 1v2, I think, is a step too far. And I didn't really pay attention to this round. I'm not going to lie, guys. Any, anyone want to tell me, fill me in what happened? Uh, the, there was some cave engagements, cave some action, Jaguar yeah. engagements back and forth. You can see a lot of X's over there outside in, in lane, some good trades. And, oh, yeah. uh, and here we are. And their buy wasn't too good. Like, That's where your, your X's are in a cave as well, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
bloody hell, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. As if I'm just some caveman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just dragging him back. Do, do you think you'd be all right in Stone Age times? Do you think you'd like, you could survive? Like without the If internet? I got transported myself right Bang. now back to caveman. Jason O'Toole in the clothes you're Absolutely in right now. Absolutely not. I would die so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so dead. Yeah. You got any survival instincts in your fang? You think you could fish? Uh, could you catch? Could you feed yourself? I have some survival it's instincts and I would still die. It's been a long time. Like I've sold them, but they're like, I don't know. Where are you from? Uh, Toronto. Toronto. But, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah right. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, growing up, you know, some of the survival stuff definitely did, but over the years, it kind of just, like, slowly faded away. Okay. But, There's some wilderness out there in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. I'm, I was never, like, a big camp guy, but there was, like, a like one or two summers ago when I did that. And then I remember like last summer I was at like a cottage and that was the first time I'm really even at a cottage, but middle of nowhere, nothing, mm. nothing in sight, no electricity, all that kind of stuff. So it was definitely different. Like gave me some perspective on a uh, lot. If you send me back to K-Man's house of the cottage, I think I can handle it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah. all I need. Is yeah, just... but I'm just talking <laughs> rock and you have a sharp stick. Yeah, you know? probably, yeah no, I'm probably, probably We're probably gone. Probably dead. Probably gone. I think I'd be all right for about First well, twelve hours. <laughs> First bear I, encounter. I do. Like I could, I could probably I I, find some rain. I think water. I could do a couple days. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, I watched a lot of like camp, like survival type stuff. videos. I love that kind of stuff too. So, of that kind of knowledge, I mean, I'd be good for a couple days. It's just a matter if I could get myself to the point to actually stay alive. <laughs> what yeah. I need to. I mean, I watched a. a oh amazing. wow! Oh, hold on. They're coming through with aggression. I mean, Casper Sky loves doing Whoa. this. Man. He's done damage. You know, maybe it's not for in vain. I, it's it's possible. Like, I mean, Blue Phoenix is yeah. level two now at this point. Vaxite. If Vaxite gives up this, okay, he seems aware of it. He seems aware of it. Yeah. He knows he can't really progress mid. You know, he the knows the line not to cross. Yeah, don't go yeah. too deep or your head's exposed. Yeah. That's that's well played, but uh, from him and yeah, there's looks like they're in full control this round. I mean, if I'm if I'm NIP, I gotta do some kind of like proactive, whether it's like a stack, fast rotate, try yeah. and get some kind of info, give yourself some room in the round, because you know Blue Phoenix as well. And Maxter had another smoke from it if they wanted to like resmoke it and stick around a little bit longer, but they just decided against that to try and execute something over at the B bomb site. Yeah. But I don't think they really okay. They're gonna go for a, a, a ramp push. When the smoke clears. I like this. The only thing that sucks here is they don't have anything blocked toward A, or at least in a spot to give them themselves room to actually push. Because Roll. now, as soon as they push, if no one's there, obviously they're just going to take A. But if, even if they are here, they're just going to accelerate toward, it, toward A. So we'll see. But this is the bomb, though. That's so, the bomb. That's what's going to Yeah, it looks like, looks like they're actually coming back. Well, they've... Oh, oh no. The timing. The transition. They're, yeah, they just turned the corner, but Dexter's... Dexter's aware. Okay. So Ooh. focused. Go for one more. Get you one more. Yep, He's got that's it. That's huge. That's huge. That's right. just confidence at that point. Oh, the timing. FlyQuest so is good. playing so well. I mean, truly. I mean, they're ancient. It's definitely looking like one of the jewels in their crown right now. And they're playing with some 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 heart, some courage, like sliding into this mid red room, actually trying to attack the flanks and the seams and the defense. But is there a, is there something to be said for maybe the uh, this aggressive CT side that NIP are playing is kind of playing into FlyQuest a bit too much. Maybe it, maybe there is a more passive setup that would suit them better in mm. this current. Uh, yeah, they're definitely. They're, they're, I don't know if it's like calculated or what, but they're mm. definitely relying on Caster Spy to get uh, those early like entries or at least like get info and control. Right. Um. I'd, I'd say they have to do it a little bit more as a unit, or yeah, like they need to change up their approach a little bit. Yeah, they've they've started losing the battle in mid and losing the battle towards towards the B lane pretty free. Like, I mean, one thing you want to you can do if you want to go passive in your NIP, if you get that all back in Wrinkle's hands, which he does have this round, just throw him up in red room with a couple grenades, break open that smoke, so yeah. you get a pick. Yeah. Like that. That was your opener, and then this was the, the closer. Yeah. It's bleak. Bleak for the ninjas. They were the loudest no! in their uh, pre-match ritual. Them Give them that one. Oh, dude, I'd go to war I'm for Ali, I, I, I'm telling you, he came in in a mood today. I'd go to battle. I'd go straight on my horse. I'd obviously be in a cavalry regiment, obviously. I just want to play a pug with him. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, just sign <laughs> me up. Give them nothing! <laughs> Where you going? Oh, it's, it's the same antics. He hasn't really given up. Respect yeah, to Casper Sky. Been. He's still just stubborn about B control. But isn't this the evolution? We've seen FaZe Clan. They're happy to give you lane early. They'll yep. just retake it. Yep. However, it does require you waiting out a few of these smoke grenades. I also think that's just a layer of t like certain teams, though, too, because they have the ability to do that. 
like especially at like a very high level but then there's some teams where like that's out of their comfort zone like yeah. you can tell that's not they're gonna be you know a little unsure especially when they're settled they're not sure what they're gonna be doing yeah oh um, man could have been a good kill for wrinkle at least yeah. he stays alive though and he's half hp he can still have his impact right and he, and he established some presence there with the awp so maybe that i mean no one's actually out mid this time which is great your donut player maxter is searching for it sees no one there so you still have cast for, you still have control that you haven't really had in too many other rounds yeah and he's still searching i like this Oh, he spots him. He knows it's up. Well, if I'm him, literally just get in a position to don't swing. Capitalize off that. Stay patient. He this angle from Casper Spy or Casper Spy is really good too. Where he swings, damn. Usually, how I play an angle, as soon as you see a gun barrel, that's when you swing, or you they'll literally just peek into you. And they yeah. don't hard. They always clear the right. That side was like first. a middle ground between the two. Yeah, and it didn't oh, work. You wear this him. flank again. He should see a shadow. Oh, oh nice no. work from Inns. The awareness that the Two, adjust they to bail out. Oh, they only have 10 seconds. They can't bail out there. This is actually huge. Yeah, but now they're kind of suffocated. Time on the clock is everything. Oh! And NIP's getting the kills. The leg is cleaned that up. Is and crazy. finally. That's a crazy round. Oh. That was Wrinkle and Alex just the, between the two of them. They got five kills. Damn. That's one way to do it. Fang, could you make it from Jaguar to the A bomb site in 10 seconds? Jaguar day, no. And plan? No, no. <laughs> Maybe yet. if you have teleport, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, I'm trying to think. If you had like 16, I think you'd be able to, yeah. So they needed two more seconds on the clock. I missed, 16. was it go? We still had the, uh, the yeah, timer? Yeah, go, you could actually time it. That's crazy. We. I can't believe we had that. We, yeah, know, no. we took it for granted, man. That's a, that's a, that was an Anders suggestion early in the days of, of Counter-Strike. Like, imagine you just draw a line and it tells you how long yep, it this takes. Takes yeah, that's 12 cool. seconds. I literally just get that, I feel like I always have that, like, internal clock piece, literally just through, like, just playing just reps, a lot. Yeah, yeah, like, I can instantly just tell, like, you can go, if you can go that far if you can, or if you need to, like, audible something just because of, the, you know, the time you have. Even if, like, you might have time, but, like, for example, if someone's there, they're probably gonna, if they block you, you're screwed, or if maybe you get a kill, now you're delayed, you won't be able to do your original plan. Whew. How long do you need from bottom of A ramp Virgo to planning on B? Go on, <laughs> guess. We're gonna test you on this after as well. Yeah, we will. I'll say, like, 20... That's a fun, a fun game. Two. 22. Lock it in. Final answer from Fang. We're going to do a, get our. Uh, yeah, we'll get on the final answer. Actually, yeah, if we're on the right final answer, 20. 20. 20? Okay. Flat yeah. 20. All right. Well, don't worry. Rush has got a job for himself after this. 20 seconds. Actually, it's definitely. I definitely don't think it's 20. Because <laughs> I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking if we're going to get some kind of resistance, maybe you get naded or like you need to walk us No degree. resistance. But no you're just, we'll yeah, make it like, easy. No if resistance. You're, if you're just knife out. Knife out. Probably like. Probably 15. Cross the bridge, probably three 15. useless. Yeah, like if you're top, if you're top ramp, like getting ready to go away, and it's like, oh shit, I'm going to go yeah. B. Knife fell, I'd say 15 seconds. 15, okay, yeah. final answer. That's your final answer. Yeah, final answer. Okay. Final answer. I'm knifing out, going. We'll get our research team on it. <clears throat> They've got B lane again. It's, it's almost been given to them as a gift at this point. NIP will seize it, but can they hold it? Casper Sky, same angle. Let's see if he yeah. follows the protocol. He loves the swing. He loves the swing. Loves the swing. Gets it on that, on that instance. Does he get it away? Angle was held. Oh, wrinkles coming this up, is, Dexter. Yeah, oh, this he's is so awkward from Dexter. Yeah. You're not gonna. Even though his MP9, you know he's stuck. That that doesn't fear you at all, mm -mm. at all. You can no. tell he's very uncomfortable. But NIP's found a way to work with it in this round, at the very least. Yeah. Right? Like we're previously just been kind of deleted. Like this time, they actually had some oh. other pieces around it. Oh wow. Walk past each other. Leah is, actually has a chance to freaking put around the bag, but he doesn't necessarily know it. But the fact that Alistar, if he could spot him out. Okay, now Leah should activate. This could this could be kind of yeah, crazy. But yeah, but he can't wait yep. is the problem. Did he think about yep. it? No. Oh, if he instantly checked, that's the only way. But yeah, at this point, round, round's done. Max, duh. Knife. I'd, I'd knife. Knife. I'd knife. You knife? I mean, you're knife. You're knife. But he's also, he's waiting for Eight time. Seconds, yeah. He's trying to wait for time and then sold it. I don't know how I feel about that, but. Seven. Yeah, you probably could have gotten away with waiting. Yeah. Take no. the upper down I mean, the time. At that point, especially like where they're at, I honestly just knife, get the money. Yeah, true. You're just in a better spot. And you don't second guess yourself. Like he, he wanted to play a time. As soon as that initial kill, he just killed him. So, yeah, a bit of both. But uh, it's, it's a recovering half here for an IPS. They're recovering because there are still two more rounds. It could get a little bit out of control. But so far, two consecutive now on the CT side. You can see what it's done to Fly Quest by losing two consecutive rounds. You got some rifles, some tech nines, and a whole lot of nades. Yeah, I. It's a little weird though that, like, good flash. And I, I don't know, they haven't adapted too hard, honestly, in terms of their B play. They switched up their needs a little bit, but the premise, same premise of them trying to actually take that B area is what they've been doing every single round. 
And FlyQuest, honestly, I mean, you know, they've lost the past two because of it, uh, which is a little weird. I feel like I would have added a little adaption into it or maybe, you know, once we knew they were doing that, still brought you know one or two more players actually like could hold for it efficiently. Well, they got they got control of lane this round. Yeah, for, uh, Vexite flexed on him. Vexite forced Casper Sky all the way back with just attack nine. He wanted nothing to do with that fight. So middle of the map is open and available to him, and they're going to attack into Wrinkle oh, leg shot. Like, but the Molly well, should the Molly's delay deep. things. Yeah, Molly's, Molly's deep though. Deep. Uh, it does, does mean the kill. Uh, only just one. Traded. That's I don't. Know. It's weird. Missed throw on Molly? Yeah. yeah. Too deep of the Molly, but at this point, just round becomes a little weird. Now they get the op. Ooh. I don't know if he, it looks like he's going for the insta swing. Damn. Not gun out, though. Come on, Liaz. Yeah, another weapon for the job. <laughs> not, not the, the weapon, shot. That's not the job. fight you want with the tech nine. All right. Ooh, so got a, we got a question from the chat. Okay. Mercy asks, why would Wrinkle be in the middle when Alex is the IGL? But like, that's not a that's like an, an unwritten that's a, rule. It's yeah, like that's not a set thing, in stone right? thing. Uh, it's definitely not a set in stone thing. But yeah, it's just like a, a kind of a standard. Like IGL, usually you have IGL in the middle just because it's easy, especially for him to look at. Like for example, your upper to the right, your main kind of like info uh, rifler to the left, um, so he can just kind of see screens as well if he needs to. Oh, fast play. Oh my god, they're so blind. They're so blind. That is a, that is a stereotypical mid-fight right yeah, there. Just should, everyone blind. They should still be good, though. Like, oh, Wrinkle should very. be able to eat up here. Yeah, there's not enough in the tank with this MAC-10 and a Deagle. Good shot from Wrinkle. It's all Alistair. Molotov on top of Maxter, but this should be the end of the half, and indeed it will be. NIP claw together wow. what they can right at the end. Four in a row to bring them up to five, playing against FlyQuest 7.
nice. It was. It was nice. And they wanted to give them nothing, but they leave with five. It's 7-5 on the half. FlyQuest versus NIP. This is for Group D, and there's only one spot between these two teams. They're looking to battle for the final spot in the playoffs from the group. It should be interesting. We've got Fang joining us from Boss. We've got Jason, who is a boss. And I'm Aww. here for moral support. Thanks. I am the emotional support <laughs> animal uh, of this casting desk. You two are seven points away from being a boss. I am seven points away. The 2K <laughs> ELO dream. I set my goal for the year. And I'm and, you, and you're ahead there. of schedule. I'm not, well, you're, I'm, you're not, I'm not there yet, Jason. Ahead of schedule. Let's not speak too soon. <laughs> OK. Ooh, there's oh, the duelies. Oh, the duelies. Yeah, and that's, oh my lord, it didn't actually work out at the end of the day. Oh, Alex, you need this. You need this Ooh. and you got it. Yeah, big frag to post. Otherwise, they would have had that donut occupation to stop this plant smoke goes down. Yeah, this gets a little awkward. Yeah, Lurk smoke, but they have control of it. They know he's not through and no armor, so makes it a little difficult. I'd say Vexai has to be the hero here for sure. They want to weigh into this. Oh, they're going to need to. Oh, That's a good. a good hold. Wrinkle struggles, but gets it done at the end wow. of the day. And a pistol for Nip. Wow. I mean, they're going to be happy with that. Yeah, definitely. They needed one. Do the hand warmers make a difference, Frank? Frank? Be on. Depends on the person. Yeah. Oh, uh, good answer. Are Very you a, good are answer. you a hand warmer, er? Honestly, no. No. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care for. Do it you have much. any any uh, extra accessories like a, a towel? Yeah. What do you do when off? you go, when you go? God, you know, my hands are cold. I've got cold hands today. I don't really get cold hands. Like, in, especially when I'm playing like live, I don't care yeah. if I have cold hands at all. Okay. Honestly. Can I, I touch your hand? Hold hold my hand. Oh, he's warm, guys. Oh, he warm? I'd say I'm warm, like man. I'm like normal temperature. Normal. I don't know. You know, I'd but say I'd say a touch above above normal. Yeah. Like I. Honestly, there's a good amount of times I'll have cold hands, but usually, like, <laughs> if they are cold and the game starts progressing, they warm up. I just like the way how you offered me my, your hand after Alex. Like, yeah. you know, it's not even a question. You're like, yeah. hey, you try now. Yeah. <laughs> you get an idea of you know, what we're working with? I'm, yeah, I am I am consistently slightly cold. Yeah. At least in this studio, I'll tell you that much. Bloody hell. Why am I here? wearing a shorts and a t-shirt? I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> but we do have a complete potential unicorn round. They don't happen all too often, but it's just five USPs. So one of the Mac Tans is going to get thirsty. Yeah, I think oh, I yeah. can see Max or Ashley. He's gagging for it. How many does he get? Oh, gag mm. all over a Maxter. Okay. Yeah. Now, we'll see. Cause who's seven? Yeah, Wrinkle, seven. He might cut them off in a sec. Yeah, but he's got an AK, man. That's yeah, like yeah. He's not going to hunt, but he'll hunt oh, no. across with him. It's coming in. Oh, Bonus he's money. Eating. Oh. He's eating. <laughs> He's eating good today. Uh, yep. He's smiling after that. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see what we got cooking. Yeah, go on. Set, uh, set the scene for us. Here we go. So 7-7, yeah. seven, seven, you've got a, a pooey buy. It's yeah, fat ass, it's MP9. Some, yeah, FAMAS MP9s, and you need to make sure they have names. That is which the is technical term as well, yes. pooey buy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, which is good because obviously it just says they want to play for something, whether it's like down B or uh, mid early, like getting some kind of control. Well, they've definitely thrown two smokes towards mid. They go heaven smoke, Molly jump up, flash is good, and then. Well, they're saying after the early play. Okay, I'll start just be, playing off angle temple. That's the responsibility of Alistair, but he's only. I mean, he's he has support in donut, right? So he's more spotting than he is looking to fight. Yeah. What's happening here? Is this? Does this look to you like a change in of plans? Like, yeah, in definitely. Just it could have been, been audible. Whether it's like maybe they didn't get blocked in main, or maybe they're getting like resmoked toward mid, so they don't think they have control, and now they want to lean somewhere else. But this is obviously weird from FlyQuest in the sense of with their buy, especially their early rounds, what they did. Now they don't really have a lot of news to stall the rounds. Like they have smokes max, and right. they don't really have the best guns. So I'm curious to see whether they get info or they try just blocking aside. Um, Looks like Dexter is just jiggling with the smoke, which is huge toward B. They just oh, oh man, that's a big spam. Hacky boy, that's a big spam. That's I wish, crazy. I wish my freaking spams were. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dexter's got a smoke as well, and he's just dropped yeah. it right yeah, when they arrive big. from the this other side of the map, and that's a beefy day. Especially off that entry kill, they yeah. they should have a good idea where they're going. Yeah, you know now, here they come, jumping through the smoke, but they have no idea where anyone is. What little utility FlyQuest might have had, they put to good effect. Alex finds a kill. Oh my and god. He's, oh, he's got to go through. through. Oh my I god. like it. It's probably the only real option yeah. he had. Yeah. But now, you throw this off away. You run. You run. Definitely you go safe. back. You're safe. Get out of there, mate. Where are you going? Gets one on the way out. 
He loses his AWP. That's a oh, gift for that. Alistair. They that, should that have That was it. actually a, like a super bad blunder by NIP there because they did smoke long. Dexter got those two kills, but they smoked him. They just didn't wait long enough for the smoke actually full bloom. So he's literally just sitting there shooting them. When in reality, he smoked, they have a chance going up the ramp there, especially yeah. after breaking it. Just getting those just timings a small right. Detail. Here we are. Here's the vision. A, right now, it's smoke too, but they're not giving it enough to bloom. And they did the extra deep one, so he's actually yeah. four outside of Yeah, because that one, it just takes a lot longer to, like, spread. Right. Um. So since they didn't wait, it's like you either change the smoke or you just got to wait a little bit longer. Okay, that's... Get a double there. Good info. They're going to go for a one-person, three-smoke exec. They're going to go for their plan A in the previous round. Right, yeah. yeah. Of course, it's the in-game leader doing all the, all the smoking. He's got his heavy hit. He's heading into the site. Smokes are sailing. Alistair's AWP is going to be blocked off, so this might actually be a retake. How, ag how aggressively does Liaz want to try and hold on to this? Molly to delay, buy some uh, time. Inz huge. is going to be with him and Donut. They can actually double swing, and that buys time for Alistair to step in front of the smoke. He can edge the smoke if he needs to. But he's messed his first oh, shot now. now. Liaz! Oh, Liaz! That's a beautiful triple. He just melts three of them with the AK. Now it's put on to Wrinkle and Alex. They're in at the bare minimum, but... Uh, doesn't look like they're going to get out with their lives all the round. That answers your question, Jason. Yeah, it does. It actually, it really does. Just play in front of it. Yeah, play, just step in front. Oh, well, you got time from that defensive molly. That's actually sick. Yeah, that was a huge, huge freaking molly from him. And I love this. FlyQuest is playing so disciplined. Yeah. They're just like, just come on, get into the bomb site. Try and plant the bomb. We're not coming to you. Here's the tap. Swings coming in soon. Oh, they got one, but Dexter's going to swing into the bomb site as well. 9 7 for FlyQuest. Well, I'm, I'm curious, what, on those B executes, what are the protocols in terms of pathing, in terms of who turns right by the sign, in terms of who swings out towards Big Box? I'd say it depends on the exec, like what they're trying to do, mainly with the donut smoke. If they're throwing a deeper one, usually you're going to scale instantly toward donut, so you're going to go like closer to the sign. You're going to have flashes that are going to like, be layered, so if anyone's facing donut, they're going to obviously get blind. Yeah. And you play take donut. If it's more like puffy, like one is, like lands a lot shallower, like closer, mm. then that's where you're scaling a lot more wide, probably going to play more for like temple okay. side. Um, you're just gonna have the bomb cross. Back to the A bomb site. Yeah, with just blocks. Jinx. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. We say blocks, but <laughs> double. Yeah. Almost, almost for. Oh, that one. Good job. He remembered his helmet there, in and just the leg shot. That's the worst feeling. I mean, I'm not an opper, but I just know, like, <laughs> you're, set, you're set up for that, especially when they're eco. You like the first guy's like, shit. Now I have to just freaking yeah, hold my angle. Yeah, fall back. And just can't fight. Yep. Well, it, it does result in a plant. NIP will be very happy with yeah, that. Yeah, and the fact they get a plant there is actually really big. It is, however, putting them even closer to the magic number of taking this first map. This is their map pick, and uh, it certainly looked that way. It was a very dominant start, wasn't it? Uh, seeing seven rounds go FlyQuest way in the first eight of play, and then a run of four to close. NIP made a half out of it. Maybe it's going to be a similar set of circumstances here as the CT side have started to batten down the hatches three you in could, a row. You could see, though, like the, I mean, you could see with NIP, I think the tough thing that they're dealing with at the moment is probably a, a lack of comfort of Alex with some of the new players because they're not playing very spread out default. They're not giving mm. like a lot of agency to individuals, right? It's been, some, it's been heavy executes. Yeah, a lot of day. grouping. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's curious what, what do you guys think Exist is saying in their time out? Like if you're, especially I feel like being in his position, I'm curious to see like what kind of input he's actually giving, knowing that. I would imagine he's just helping Alex just like pick a tactic to call, right? Like mm. he's trying to like be like a second brain of just straight up calling. Mm. Cause I, I, don't, I don't actually know how you would improvise as a coach in this kind yeah. of a team. Yeah. Constant stand-ins. I imagine every everything he says starts with back in my day <laughs> in a Swedish accent, not, what, not whatever that was. <laughs> not whatever imagine that it was a Swedish accent. Yeah, imagine it was. Yeah. Do it do it nipped it back in yeah. 2014. It was it always worked. And that's working. A big for entry Alex. from Alex. Huge. I, I mean, if if I look at it after after seeing how this round opened, it was probably like, all right, let's not do this kind of like you know passive openings, walk to a spot, execute. Let's mm. let's play with some courage. Let's let's get in, involved in some fights. Because that death, uh, can you put words into what that does now to the ninjas in? To, sorry, to FlyQuest CT. Well, look, setup. At the, look at the mini map. Well, there you go. Actually, yeah. yeah. Just Off forces and reaction. And, well, and not having any control. Numbers. Especially not having mid control, now it's like, okay, we need to be proactive somewhere else or get some kind of control at least. And I like this 4B lean a lot. 
just, I mean, okay, they're going up with it. Or NIP is, so. Obviously going to play into them. Oh, Master! Play out. Get your Molotov back in your pocket! Alistair must hit this. It's a must-hit shot. Yeah. I, I think they saw two in cave, though, so they're very wary of this. Casper's guy is playing this very intelligently. Now oh. he has to make his move when his teammate goes down. And Alex taking a risk. Yeah, oh, that's a good swing from Inns. Good flash from Alistair. And 11th. That's crazy. I mean... They go inside 4B play, which is, you know, it's good in the sense of, you know, gain control and everything like that. But IP after getting that kill and pausing, probably expecting that re-aggro doesn't come. They just instantly just pounce toward B without doing anything else, which you could argue. I mean, it sucks, obviously, on that timing. There's still four there, but yeah, I mean... Like kudos to FlyQuest there. Yeah, it's during, during that during that pause when you've got the advantage, <laughs> would the difference have been if having one member of the team take some risks in space elsewhere just to report what their findings are? I Is would that say how you avoid running into the stack. Yeah, I would say like especially because they had some utility left as well, just throwing like some kind of well, like, smoke, smoke, molly. Donut smoke. Yeah, or like. even toward B and just like probing it, see if you get blocks. See, and that's also going to bait them into, you know, going for the actual info play. But since they didn't do anything and they just go into it, it's like it doesn't really give FlyQuest any like reason to move yet. Vince is playing forward of this. Wow. So they double incendiary and then he gets flashed into the line. This is a lot of pressure on Inns, though. You could go down if you don't yeah, play this, this is, right. This could be huge, though, with oh, the flash. Oh, he's flashed in for the multi. Sprays them down with a white screen. Goes wow. down after two. He's got support. Alistair's there. The nade is in. The round is one. Wrinkle. What have you got for her in the eyes? The 5-7 of Alistair finds him. And Ancient looks like it's just about fly quests. <laughs> what a sick activation from Inns. Yeah. He's had some cool rounds in this. He had triple kill in the last round. This little flashbang spray down in A main. And I, what, he had the triple kill from Donut as well, and that, alongside. that red room timing spam, yeah. he just sprayed the smoke mm. at the perfect time. So yeah, Inns, I mean, I've been very impressed. Every game that uh, Inns has stepped into, he's looked, he's looked fantastic. Okay, well, there's a game plan. Off of the rip, three smokes invested from spawn from the ninjas in pajamas. If you want to get out mid, you're going to have to use a fourth. They haven't opted to do so. Yeah, so they throw, they throw like the wider case smoke just to deny them info if they, are, if they do decide to jump up cat. Um, but I'm curious to see what they actually try doing off this. Looks like they're just going 4-1 into like some kind of like B aggro at least. Big? Yeah. Again, okay. it's, it's Alex before. just being proactive. Yeah. Alex definitely has been like the main space to take your guy for them. Oh, that's oh, a, a spam. horrible death. Wow. But it does open, like Caster Sky does get some space here, but I would want to set him up in the sense of like getting some utility, whether it's toward mid, whether it's, you know, some kind of diversion on the other side to give him, give him some room. They just did throw out a T-smoke to red. Yeah, but, that but it's, it's weird because, yeah, like they don't they don't actually play off of it. It's, Ooh. Okay, actually, that, that makes sense. Having Wrinkle Pulse there, at least in the sense of if they do re-clear, try and jump up fast, Flanky's there to punish. Yeah, and you got to just have someone watching for that because you're blocked out everywhere yeah. you want to go. Yeah, They're exactly. waiting for that smoke at B ramp to fade. So Wrinkle's going to try and force back mid. Liaz going to rotate back around to the B site. Vexite going to step forward. They've got two Molotovs, no smokes on the NIP side. Only another flash, okay. This might be crazy. Oh my god, it might be perfect. It might be perfect! It is! Oh, oh my geez. lord! The flash peaks from FlyQuest are on point today. Like every round, there's a little bit of team play. It looks flawless, and it is FlyQuest! A beautiful, flawless run to the finish line of map one. They take six consecutive to close. It's a 13-7 on the first map of the series, and looking to secure it. They're one map away from the playoffs. Vertigo weighing in the wings. That's NIP's pick. They've taken some big names, some big games. Let's see if they can do it against the FlyQuest boys.